Ukrainian Defense Minister Alexei Reznikov said Friday that the Russian armed forces currently have about 300 units of Iranian-supplied drones. According to Reznikov, the Russian authorities are now engaged in negotiations with Tehran to buy several thousand more of these unmanned aerial vehicles, according to an Ian agency. It will happen or not, we will see. But we must be prepared for this, so we will not stand still. We are developing systems to repel them. Our army is shooting them down, they have already learned how to do it, the defense minister said. Ukrainian authorities have been denouncing since August that Iran has been supplying kamikaze drones to the Russian army, although Tehran has denied being involved in this transaction, and Moscow adheres to the same line. At the end of September Ukraine withdrew the accreditation of the Iranian ambassador in Kiev and announced a significant reduction of the Iranian diplomatic presence. Iranian drones have started to fly over Ukraine for the first time in a little more than a week. The drones flew from Crimea, according to Andriana Erecta, a first sergeant in the Ukrainian armed forces, and headed to attack a special forces unit fighting near the southern city of Kherson. The drones evaded the soldiers' defenses and dropped bombs on their position, destroying two tanks with their crews inside, she added. It's very difficult to see these drones on radar, said Erecta, who traveled to Washington, D.C., last week, as part of a delegation of female Ukrainian soldiers. It's a huge problem. Over the past week, Russia has deployed Iranian Shad 136 and Mohajer 6 combat drones across Ukraine, which led to devastating results. Some hit combat positions and destroyed tanks and armored vehicles. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said in his speech on Friday that his country's anti-aircraft forces had shot down more than 10 drones in the eastern Dnipropetrovsk region and Odessa. The Ukrainian Air Force claimed they were shot 136 and Muhajir 6 unmanned aircraft carrying munitions, which can also be used for reconnaissance, according to the Ukrainians. However, three Ukrainian soldiers said in several interviews, according to the newspaper, that Iranian drones pose a major threat. They said their presence on the battlefield makes the West's need to send additional modern weapons even more urgent. According to the newspaper, it appears that Iranian drones may be a game-changer for the Russians. They are relatively small and fly low, evading Ukrainian radars. Since the U.S. provided weaponry lack a night vision system, Erecta said they could be shot down with Stinger anti-aircraft missiles only during the day. I need to be in position against Russian helicopters on one side, and Iranian drones came from another side Erectus said. It's very hard to close the huge area with stingers, with other weapons that can hit these drones. Erectus says although the Switchblade 300 drones provided by Washington are used, they are essentially commercial systems, and are insufficient to combat artillery and armored vehicles, hinting at the need for the updated Switchblade 600 drones, as a flying javelin, with Ukrainian eyes now focused on them. Russia has exhausted most of its precision-guided weapons, as well as many of the drones it has used to help long-range artillery strike targets, in its months-long bombardment of Ukraine. Meanwhile, the first batches of U.S. truck-mounted multiple rocket launchers have destroyed more than two dozen Russian ammunition depots, air defense sites and command posts, according to two American officials, making Moscow's need to counter the new, advanced Western arms more urgent.
Enter Iran, a leading drone developer for decades. Iran has supplied drone technology to Hezbollah in Lebanon, to Houthi rebels in Yemen attacking Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, and to Shiite militias in Iraq, which have carried out strikes against Iraqi and American troops. Russia is turning to an ally that has flown drones in complex environments in large numbers, said Samuel Bendit, a specialist on Russian drones and other weapons at CNA, a research and analysis organization in Arlington, Virginia. While the Russians still have drones, they don't have all the types they need. Russia's deal with Iran underscores the ever-growing importance of drones to modern warfare, not just in insurgencies or counterterrorism operations, but also in classic conventional-style conflicts. In a contested battlefield like Ukraine where dueling artillery barrages are the deciding factors if an offensive fails or succeeds, drones play a pivotal role. A Russian delegation visited an airfield in central Iran at least twice in the last five weeks June 8 and July 5, to examine drones that can be armed, Sullivan said in a statement released by the White House and reported earlier by CNN.